I've got serious, serious concerns as to where this football club is at the moment and boys potentially where they can get to and how they're going to get to. Jared, you and I have had a lot of discussion mm. around this in terms of... And I know they've had a lot of help over the years, but we can't let this club sit there and continue to waller and be a relevant football club in the ninth game on the weekend. Well, we had this exact discussion 12 months ago, I reckon, Rusey, when we were talking about uh, restructuring the draft. I don't agree with them asking for a priority pick because they need more than a priority pick. And I think St Kilda need help. Anybody that's been perennial losers needs some assistance. The competition doesn't gain from Carlton being out of finals since 2011 and St Kilda being out of finals since 2011. It's too long. You lose a generation of supporters. So the commission and the executive, I reckon, collectively failed last year when they were convinced by somebody yep. that putting VFL players up there was somehow going to change it. Joke. Now, they've come up with one or two guys that may help but they need to pick up two or three picks in the top 25 every year until they nick Rui, can get themselves yeah. competitive. It has to be a rejig of the draft, though, because the, the, the draft system as it currently sits, the difference between the team that wins it and the yep. team that comes last is one 18-year-old player, mm. nine to, uh, 18 picks apart. So in a team of 22 that take the field every week... That, that's not that's not a big difference, and I think so. We, we, we can see like that, and that's contingent on actually getting your picks right. Yeah, so yeah. this doesn't fix the fact that the players leave. That, that, so I think that's it? what Rui's saying, it's, it's, and I agree it, with you. It's not enough. So you, Sam Walsh has had a huge impact on Carlton. They've still won three games. Yeah. To your point, you cannot, as an eighteen-year-old, make a significant impact in your first year. Individually, you can, yeah. but as a team. So, what, so why shouldn't we? Why shouldn't the the first contract be three or four years. Over in America, it's five years. Yep. Like, we, we need to get them over. Two years is not long enough to establish Absolutely. yourself in a city to feel a part of it. Three or four no. years is because the problem is these clubs are faced, and, and Brisbane were faced with it, not so much now, but Gold Coast are. You've got to play these young players before they're ready because you're so worried that if they're not playing seniors, they're going to be playing out the back in front of 50 people down at Redland Bay. Mm. Yep. And, then th and as a kid, you're going, this is not what I yeah. dreamt to be no. as a kid growing up playing AFL so, footy. So that's all you do feel for. You feel for the, the incumbents. You feel for the players. Great, great people in the positions of leadership at the football club now. But give it, giving... The Gold Coast Suns are that can't be at the expense of Carlton, no. who have been down for 10 years, St Kilda, and, and clubs so what would you like do, Geelong really? that have been so successful and so good at recruiting. What would, what would you do? Well, I think the draft needs looking at. Yep. That, that's that's the, the only mechanism to, to try and find a little bit more parity. Well, if they got an extra pick after the first round, so everybody gets a cracker, they get an extra pick, and they might get an extra pick after the second what, round. What they about if you gave them, if you gave them pick Rizzi. one and they had to trade it? So give them a pick priority well, pick. Well, they're going to get pick one. No, I don't like no, priority, priority pick. Priority pick. But if you had to trade it, because I, I agree with you, I don't think you can keep just Yeah, but that's still at the expense of all the Absolutely. other clubs. And they've but had whatever that. they're going to do is going to be at the expense of the other clubs. Yeah, yeah but they've already, had, they've already had their go of that. Not if it's a system that is in place forevermore. If you're out of the finals for five years... God, but, OK. So, but this year it's going to have an impact on the other clubs. It's going to be more, more expense to the clubs, though, if Gold Coast keep failing. Because when it comes to the next TV rights... Do you think TV stations are going to be wanting to pay the big dollars for the Gold Coast Suns game? No, I don't the think they want to right the now. Game. I don't think they want to right now, Brownie. I think it's an absolute furphy. Right now, it's a drain on the competition, hopefully <clears> with some payment down the track, building kids, building a base for the game. And that's a fantastic uh, uh, principle, and it's hopefully going to work. But right now, the Commission's got to work yeah. out we're either all in or we're all out and change the draft <laughs> system to actually establish help for everybody, not just the sides that are putting their hand up for priority.